Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's episode, I'm gonna be covering the best things to do in Edinburgh. Together, we're gonna explore the famous Edinburgh Castle, the Holyrood House Palace, take a walk down the Royal Mile, and many other fun things as well. Without further ado, this is Backpack Gringo covering the best things to do in Edinburgh, Scotland. Now, the first place we're gonna cover in our list of best things to do is the Edinburgh Castle. This fortress was constructed back in the 12th century and has played a significant role in Scotland's history, witnessing events like the Wars of Scottish Independence. This is a super fun castle to visit as there's a lot of things to see, including several museums like the National War Museum of Scotland, which houses historical weapons and outfits from past eras of war, here, you can also find the Military Prison Exhibit, which is basically a small prison that was used to house soldiers at the castle who broke the rules. And you can also go for a whiskey tasting, or even stop by the Crown Jewels of Scotland exhibit. If you plan on visiting, given that the tickets to the castle often sell out, you should absolutely book them online several days in advance. You can purchase tickets on the official website, which I'll put a link to, as well as anything else we cover today in the video description below. Up next on our list of best things to do is the National Museum of Scotland. This museum is an awesome place to visit as it's full of fun exhibits and interactive games. This is a perfect place for a family day outing, but us adults had a blast as well. The museum itself is open every single day and it's 100% free to enter. So if you're ever planning to make a stop in Edinburgh, definitely check it out. The Royal Mile is a historic and iconic street in Edinburgh that dates back to the 12th century. It winds through the heart of the old town, stretching one Scottish mile, which is about 1.8 kilometers or 1.12 miles. The street starts at the Edinburgh Castle and ends at the Palace of Holyrood House. This cobbled stone street is lined with a mix of shops, restaurants and pubs, and is filled with locals and tourists alike. You may even stumble across street performances or the usual traditional bagpipe playing. While walking down the Royal Mile, you'll end up passing the St. Giles Cathedral. This building of worship has been a main place for religious activities in Edinburgh for over 900 years. Inside, you'll find lots of statues, stained glass art, tapestries, a huge church organ, and of course the vast vaulted ceilings that St. Giles Cathedral is most famous for. The cathedral is 100% free to enter, but you may do so only when there is no active service going on. During the week, there are 14 different acts of worship and five services on Sunday, so make sure to look up the times and try to find an opening.
just a short stroll from the cathedral, you'll stumble across the camera obscura and world of illusions, a fantastic spot for some lighthearted fun. Once you grab your ticket, you can explore various floors packed with interactive exhibits, featuring optical illusions, 3D images, holograms, and some other funky stuff, perfect for snapping some amusing photos. Once you reach the rooftop, you'll be surprised to find one of the best views in the city, providing a 360-degree panoramic view. On the roof, you'll also be able to visit the Camera Obscura show. After huddling into a dark room, you'll get to see the Camera Obscura, which is an optical device that dates back to ancient times. The camera itself was built in the 1850s and essentially works by the light from outside passing through an aperture projecting an inverted image of the outside onto the viewing surface. Nestled in the heart of Old Town and beneath the Edinburgh Castle lies the historic square of Grass Market. Being one of the most lively areas in the city, this medieval cultural hub showcases an array of shops, cafes, boutiques, pubs, and restaurants. The square is most known for its unique and colorful houses, each with impressive history like the White Hart Inn, which has been around since 1516, and the 17th century Last Drop Pub. So when the hunger strikes, or you're looking to experience a local pub in Edinburgh, we definitely recommend dropping by Grass Market. The next place on our list of best things to do in Edinburgh is to make a visit to Calton Hill. This is a super popular hangout spot with historic monuments, an observatory, and killer views of the city. It's a great place to go get some fresh air, or sit out on the grass and have a picnic. It's located only half a mile away from St. Giles Cathedral, and it's super accessible via walking. If you decide to walk from the cathedral around halfway to Calton Hill, you'll pass the Scott Monument. It's pretty hard to miss as this gothic monument stands at 200 feet tall and you can even hike up the 287 steps to get to the top. Fun fact, this is actually the largest monument in the world that's been dedicated to a writer. There's some good seating areas to relax and also some restaurants, clothing stores and a mall nearby for some shopping as well. From the monument, if you walk another 5 minutes, you'll have arrived at Calton Hill. To get to the top, you do have to walk up a pretty steep section and also a flight of stairs. Once you're there, after the nice little cardio workout, you'll be free to walk around, climb on some monuments, and soak in the sun and views. After Calton Hill, you can easily walk all the way over to our next recommendation, the Palace of Holyrood House. This palace is located at the end of the Royal Mile and took us under 20 minutes or so from Calton Hill to get there. The Palace of Holyrood House is the official residence of the British monarch in Scotland. Originally a monastery, the palace has been a royal residence since the 16th century and has hosted figures like Queen Elizabeth II during her official visits. The palace is a key venue for state functions, ceremonies, and official events. While filming isn't allowed once you're inside, just know that you'll be given a free audio guide to explore the palace's rooms at your own pace and learn about its history and all its past inhabitants. 
After exploring, you can also walk around the meticulously kept gardens behind the palace as well. It's no secret that the city of Edinburgh is well known for its world-class whiskey and gin. If you visit Edinburgh, it's a guarantee that you'll walk past multiple whiskey slash gin shops. In order to try it out for yourself, we'd recommend booking a tasting tour to learn about and try different brands you definitely won't find at your local liquor store. We ended up doing a gin tasting which is hosted in the old cellars of the Code Hostel, right across from St. Giles Cathedral. During our tasting, we got to try four different local and historical gins and got to learn about the history. This was a super fun activity to do, so if you're ever visiting, we'd absolutely recommend putting this on your itinerary. A special thanks to everyone who has made it this far in the video. I hope you find this guide useful and that it helps you plan your next trip to Edinburgh. Feel free to leave any questions or thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, we would greatly appreciate if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Doing so really helps out our new platform, enables us to continue making this kind of content, and allows these types of videos to be shared with fellow travelers. So thanks again for tuning in to another video brought to you by yours truly, Backpack Gringo.